Ladies and gentlemen, the time has come for us to enter the gondola of pain. Oh god, this is not gonna be good. Anyway, hello everyone, welcome back to our Pokemon Stadium. In the last episode, we finished Sabrina's... <laughs> I'm so sorry. When I think about it, I start to laugh because of just how funny it was that how I won. It was pretty great. But today... Earlier I said that we, now that we finish Petite Cup, we are past the halfway point when the game starts to get a lot worse. And Poke Cup Ultra Ball is going to be our first demonstration of how much worse the game got. So we are using the third team today, in which it's... Uh... It's certainly something. I want to check something real quick. No, I, I want to check it. We have Fero, in which we don't get Hyper Meme this time, so we're probably only ever using Drill Pack whenever we use Fero. Dark Tree has the same... Well, you have Toxic now. Kadabra has Psychic now. Jolteon is still Jolteon. Starmie is still Starmie. Dugong is still Dugong. With no Horn Drill. But, whatever. Ah! Wrong button! But, whatever. We don't have Jinx, but we have Dugong. So let's go. So as always, the biker is a non threat but you never know. Never mind, he's still a non threat <laughs> Okay, so basically, this team is just a matter of use Kadabra, use Firo, and use Dugtrio. You can see now that we're getting deeper into the level disadvantage problem that is going to plague us a lot later. Everything on this team is above level 50. So, that's not good. Things might actually survive attacks that would normally kill if we were the same level. And that's very dangerous. We're ready to roll! Pokemon Tournament Poke Cup Ultra Ball! The excitement continues to build here at Pokemon Stadium! Let the battle commence! Alright, Chokma is first. <laughs> oh my god, these names! Yeah, I should have looked at some of them because I don't think we're going to see some of those mons again. But, oh well. The Chokma is... Wow. <laughs> but of course. Kadabra, King of Rentals. Always carrying. Can't forget that he's basically one of the best star best rentals in the game. k -moo. <laughs> k -moo. Okay. I don't know if you're going to live this or not. Never mind, he's dead! <laughs> Kadabra, why are you so good? Alright, who's next? Off Venom! That color is not normal. That reminds me of Shiny Venomoth, actually. And I know this because I have actually caught a legitimate shiny Venomoth once upon a time. I don't know if you're gonna live. He's gonna live. Psy Wave! Oh, there it is! It actually hit this time! Why did Psy Wave miss with the other thing? Yeah, whatever, it doesn't matter. Battle's over. Goodbye. Goodbye, possibly shiny Venomoth, but there are no shinies in Gen 1, so it doesn't matter. Well, that was easy. Do you even need to use Fero? Why do I feel like Fero's gonna be another Bulbasaur in which every time I pick him, he's never going to get action? I mean, I underestimated Persia, look what happened there! Persia got plenty of use! Oh my god, it's getting worse. Alright, so this team. Tangela is kind of a thing, but the rest of his grass types are also poison. We don't know whether he's going to leave with a grass type or an electric type. So I think the idea here is we leave Kadabra. We basically just use the same team as last time. Kadabra, Ductrio, Fira. They're the only mods I have that can really handle this entire battle with no trouble. Dugong is weak to grass, so I don't want to use him. He's also weak to electric, so I don't want to use him here. 
Starmie can't do much of anything this team. Same with Jolteon. So the other three are basically our only options. What kind of battle can we expect to see? Begin round two. Leave the grass type. Victrance! Alright, this is perfect. Even if he switches out immediately, we can just psychic whatever comes in. Also, this thing's level 50! It's dead! <laughs> also, that weird coloring! Well, I'm sure it lasts long! <laughs> Ride chance! What the hell is that? Why are you so light yellow? Doug Trail, go. I know we have Dig, but I want to save Kadabra. On the off chance he brought the Vile Bloom. Thunderbolt, yup. Okay. What? Dig. If he switches out, he brought. The Vile Boom or the Tangle. Seismic Toss! What now? Oh, it's another miss! But yeah, if he switches out, he brought one of the grass types. Yep, he brought one of the grass types. Vile Plants! Ace. Vile Poise. Vile Poise! Wow, I get it. Oh, that's neutral. All right, yeah, I guess you're a poison type. Okay, well, not staying in, though. Fear go. Let's get you some action. He's probably going to paddle dance me. I could switch in Kadabra, but why would I do that? Why have Fear? Yep, there it is. Be resistless. Heh. <laughs> And the best part, he can't do anything to me now. He's locked in. So now we just sit here and spam drill pack until he's dead. And by that, I mean we only needed one. All right, goodbye. Now all we do is switch back to Dog Trio, spam dig, and then we win. Right, you can't do anything unless it's sides with us. Well, unless it has, like, Mega Kick or something. But, once again, it doesn't really matter. We can probably live one hit, unless he crits me. And we outspeed. So, our boy Doug Trio putting in the good work. But yeah, they just have a Thunderbolt! That is a bad sign for things to come. We used to only have, like, Thunder on most things. Yet, meanwhile, here he is... The second trainer, casually running around with Thunderbolt. Also, nice knowing you, Raichu. I mean, Ride Chase. Goodbye. Goodbye. I also noticed this thing is level 52. Well, that wasn't so bad. I mean, I wasn't expecting to crit the victory bell immediately, but whatever. Those are the small victories that we earn. Alright. Oh, it's you again. Here we go. What kind of fuckery do we have this time? I see another Chansey! Which means we're gonna be in for the shit show of a lifetime. Also, level 54 Golem and Prime 8. Alright, so immediately, Chansey is a giant threat. We also have two Monsweet to Psychic, so we're taking Kadabra, obviously. Uh, for the most part, we can probably use the same team as the last two battles. The only real wrench is the Golem. So I need to take something that can deal with that. And between Starmie and Dugong... Why does Starmie have more attack than Dugong? Oh my god. <laughs> you know what? Kadabra, Dugtrio, Starmie. 
Starmie, surprisingly, for some ungodly reason, has more attack than Dugong. So, if we run into Chansey, we can just swift spam or try and get a para with Thunder. Don't leave with Chansey, by the way. Prime Ape. All right. Unfortunately for you, this thing is screwed. If he switches out, you probably brought Chansey. Oh, no. Oh, no. Don't you dare tell me you brought the stupid egg. Hypno! Oh, I forgot about you! I he wasn't even on my radar! I got a cr- That did nothing! Uh-oh. Well, actually, you know what? I think about it. I have a very bad feeling about this. Starmie doesn't have a psychic move, so it's switching to Starmie. I want Kadabra alive for the primate. I have a very bad feeling. Yep, I knew it. Up he missed. Nice. Alright, Starmie. Surf a stab. Let's go for surf. Get crit. <laughs> he lived at 12! Uh oh. Don't. Ah, here it comes. Here it comes. He's gonna dream eater me, so we're switching out. Star me is now basically screwed. We have seismic toss, we have dig, we have options for this thing. Here it comes. Yup! I knew it! Normally when you see hypnosis, it's usually followed up by Dream Eater. Wait, that was counter! Stunt Spore! It was counter! Okay, we have Dig though, it's fine. It's fine though. It's fine. As long as he doesn't pull Swift and crit me. Sleep pa Are you kidding me? He can't even use that on me! Stormy's already asleep, so it would fail no matter what. Get out of here. Frick hypno. Alright, bring back the primate so I can one shot it. <laughs> Just tell me you didn't bring the Chansey. <sighs> Fucking course he did. Well, but looks like we're spamming dig until we eventually kill this thing. Or we see what it has. Metronome soft boiled! <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> what will it do? Nice crit. Yeah, there was no way it was killing. Uh oh! There it is. Counter strike. Miss the target. The Dig is it? What? How is that not a contact move? Well, whatever. Fine. Paddle dance. Wait, aren't you locked in now? Well, unless it, unless it misses. No, he's locked in now! I got two crits! This is dumb! I know Kadabra's the king of rentals, but I didn't think of him to be the crit king, too. I swear, I'm not hacking! <laughs> this is supposed to be, like, difficult. I want to say, he might live because level difference, but never mind. I cannot believe I crit the Chansey twice in a row! And it pulled nothing but bad moves. I didn't even take damage! All the Hypno did was put me to sleep. Which is an accurate description of what that battle basically was. Alright, it's time for 
actual difficult battles because there's this mess. Her number of weird things is definitely increasing. So, this is another scenario where Starmie is really useful. So, I'm actually going to lead Starmie. We will take Kadabra and then we'll take Jolteon. J Starmie is basically the only water type I need here because we have Thunder. And then on the off chance, she doesn't bring any of the ground types. We have Kadabra and Jolteon as backups. But this should be the Starmie show the whole way through. Also, she just has a boss race. Blast Tony! Alright, Starmie, here we go. Time to hit some thunders. This is level 50. Nice! He lived. He has double team! Wait! It doesn't matter! It doesn't matter! We have Swift! Swift never misses! I just need to get high rolls. That did literally nothing. Use double team all you want, buddy. Use double team all you want. It does not matter. I have a move that never misses. This was a good idea. I literally forgot her strategy was this. This is the same situation we ran into last time, where all it took was one double team, and I missed three Thunderbolts in a row. So this time, we have Swiss, so fuck that noise. Doug D. Uh oh. It's level 55! There's no chance in hell I outspeed this thing. There's none. Oh my god, it has double team two. Well, shit. Now we're gonna have to play it with dice. Start me, hit it. Start me, hit it. Start me, hit it. Yeah! It's dead! There's no way! You have no special! There are, even if you're level 55, you have no special. There's no chance you were surviving. Alright, here we go. Dugotti! Oh, here we go again. Revenge of the Dugongs. I remember the last time we fought Dugong. It was not a pretty time. Star me. Go. Star me! No! He lived! Alright, I know this is a risk, but I'm... I want to use Thunder, but I know I'm probably going to miss, so I'm going to just use Swift. Because what can Dugong really do to me? Okay, I, like, 3 hit KO him. Like, unless this thing has rest, what can it realistically do to me? Oh, no, I shouldn't have said that. Now it's probably going to have rest. I'm actually going to check after this to see if I actually get it. Oh no! 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 Please! Ice Beam! What now? What? Did nothing. Well, goodbye. Using Switch was definitely the right idea. Goodbye! There! Fuck your double team! Evasion doesn't work against moves that never miss. Easy. Okay, I mean, the jungle lure was kind of me getting bullshit crits. So I don't think that one really counts as easy. But we finished up hooking up really easily. But we're going to end things. Oh, I, I bumped my desk, sorry. So next time, we're going to do the second half of Poke Cup, which is probably going to be much worse than the first half. Because the first half was a bunch of non-threats, and the second half is probably going to be a bunch of monsters. So I will see you then.